Hello, I am Sarath Gurthi, a technical marketing engineer in the intent based networking group of Cisco. So today I am going to take you through the demo of Cisco user defined network. Now before getting into the demo, let us look at the problems that we have in the shared networks. When we're in our home, we're used to sharing services between our devices seamlessly. You can stream on your Apple TV using AirPlay service, and you will find only your Apple TV. You can play music on your wireless speakers using Google Cast. You will only hear your music. You can print on your printer using AirPrint. You will find only your printed information when you collect it. When you're at home, all you see are your devices that are connected to your wireless network. Everything works fine since all of these devices use MDNS, UPnP, or other link local multicast protocols, and all of these devices are on the same network. But when these devices get connected to a shared network, such as a dorm room network, a hospital, or a hotel network, that at-home experience breaks. Now you see all the devices on the network. A student wanting to stream using AirPlay will see multiple Apple TVs on the network. This is not a bug as it is the inherent nature of these link local multicast protocols that allow users to see all the devices and services on this shared network. So you can unintentionally select somebody else's Apple TV and start streaming. Suddenly you no longer have the hassle-free experience that you're used to on your personal network at home. This can happen in many places like dorm room buildings and residential halls, senior living facilities, long-term stay healthcare buildings, and other multi-dwelling building environments. Cisco is solving this problem. To solve this problem, Cisco is introducing the solution user-defined network. In user-defined network, the users can securely and easily manage their own devices using the mobile app. And using the mobile app, they can add or delete their devices. They can also invite their friends to join their own personal network or they can join the personal network belonging to their friends. So to easily cast and share their devices onto the network. Now let us look at the components that enable the solution. So you need uh, Cisco's Catalyst 9100 access points or View to access points, Cisco's 9800 wireless LAN controller, ICE, DNS center, and finally you also need a SAML or Azure uh, SSO gateway. Now all of these on-prem components are securely connected using DNS center to a cloud service which enables the off-prem registration using the mobile app. Now this mobile app is available both for uh, Android devices and your Apple iOS devices. Now let us look at the workflow and the experience from the student's perspective. Eddie is a student who has joined, uh, who has enrolled into a school. And he wants to take his personal devices like his iPad, speakers, and all of that to his school dorm. dorm. And Eddie receives a welcome email from the school. And this has all the essential information for him to get started on his school. Along with this, it also has information like his school credentials uh, and the links for him to download the mobile app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Eddie downloads his mobile app and logs in, logs into that with his school credentials. So at this time, Eddie is still in his home and he has all of his devices connected to his home network. So now he, use, he uses the various methods and the various uh, simple and easy to use ways uh, to register his devices while he's still at home. 
and once he reaches all all these devices when he reaches the campus he can just simply onboard those devices now all the devices that it is registered from his mobile are in their own personal udn network let us look at how the experience looks like so edi has already downloaded the udn app so now he can log in using his school credentials which will redirect him to the school ccvo and once you let and once that is done the app onboards or the app securely connects back to the campus network now he can add his device let us click add this device this automatically adds the current device to the school uh, <coughs> school network under edis name so let us give it a good nice descriptive name we'll call this as edis mobile so now uh, edi would still have a lot of his other devices so and he's still at home right now so let us do one thing let us use a nice feature here called as scan this network so this scan this network what it does is it checks or it scans the current wifi network to which this device is connected to and lists out all of the devices that are part of the home network so now all of these are the devices that we see in edis home network and now this chromecast is a device that edi wants to take to school let us give it a nice descriptive name again uh, we will call this as edis chromecast so uh, i just want to say that this wifi scanning functionality is available only on android devices it is not available for ios devices so now let us say i wanted to add uh, some more devices we can now we can do it using the manual entry so now these are the devices that are not part of the network and that i wanted to scan and manually add them i can do it using two different methods one is using camera scan or the picture scan so if you have a screenshot or some of the picture that is already stored in the gallery use scan uh, scan the picture from the gallery otherwise in this case i just wanted to use my camera to scan one of the devices so this is my the other phone that uh ed has so see the moment we point out to the mac address it recognize the mac address just verify the mac address again give it a nice uh, descriptive name and uh, we'll call it as edis uh, second mobile that's it so even this uh, device is now registered so now if we want to change the name for this device so let us say i wanted to edit this i want to not call it as second mobile but i want to give you a nice descriptive name called as edis iphone i can do that so now we change the name and save it now this is submitted so this is how you the students can register their devices anywhere from the, the network even before they come on to the campus okay so now uh, it has reached the school so okay the device on the left is edis and the device on the right belong to his friend joe so each of them have their own devices uh, registered so edi has two of his mobiles and a chromecast device registered and joe has his uh, mobile and another casting device I, it's an amazon tv that was registered now both of these users now are connected to the same network but even then let us go back navigate to youtube uh, yes there you go so youtube and let us try to cast the device so now ed is able to see only one device from his youtube and now if you go back to joe all right there you go so when uh, joe tries to find the device 
he can only see his device so now here though both the no though all the devices are connected to the same wi-fi network eddie can see only his devices and joe can see only his devices now uh eddie wants to uh to invite joe to his room so let us look at how that experience would look like so eddie goes to his mobile app and he tries to uh goes to my guest and he just types in the name of his friend so let us type in joe now the mobile uh, since it is integrated with the sso and the active directory it automatically finds uh, the email address of his friend joe and when he sends the invite you see you, he got a pop up so this is a notification that he got telling that his friend has invited uh, eddie to his uh, personal network so now i can either choose to accept de- decline or even even cancel it for now i'm i just cancel it because i want to go back and see where this notification shows so now uh, when uh, joe goes to his mobile app he can actually see this notification accepts it when he accepts it brings up this menu where he can choose the exact device that joe wants to take to eddie's room so now let us say joe wants to take uh, the amazon tv he click click join and let us see what happens so the moment he accepted it eddie gets the accept the pop up telling that joe has accepted the invitation and he got his device so if you look at uh, the mobile joe's mobile you can clearly see that one of his devices is in eddie's personal network and when you go to eddie's uh, devices you can clearly see that there is a guest device the same amazon tv uh, which belongs to uh, his friend joe and uh, let us go to my guest see there you go it shows uh, joe's devices the same amazon tv and at this time at any time when eddie wants to remove the joe's device he can click remove here now let us see uh, what happened to our youtube so uh, let us go back open the youtube and now try to catch and see now how many devices do we see voila there you go now we we actually have two devices one is eddie's own device and the other device that belongs to his friend joe so which would joe just uh, sent as a part of his invitation so now uh, if uh joe wants to get his device back now let us go and see what joe is doing okay when joe is trying to catch now joe cannot find his device because one device can only be there in one personal network at any point in time so now uh joe wants his device back he simply goes into the mobile go back and click reclaim so once you reclaim he got his device back okay the moment he got his device back now this device is actually part of uh joe's personal network so which means that now joe should be able to use this device so let us again go back uh, open youtube and try to cast all right there you go so now joe got his device back this union functionality is not only applicable for your school and dorm networks but can also be used in hospitals uh, senior living care facilities multi dwelling units and in lot of other use cases with that that brings us to the end of this demo thank you for watching